Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're gonna take a look at the new drawing tools and layout. I say new, but I have to remember the internet's forever, so you might be seeing this at some point in the future. As of right now, October 2025, the 2026 version of layout just came out and it has four new drawing tools in it, and we're gonna cover them. They're new to me, but uh, maybe they're old hat to you, in which case you probably weren't gonna get, I mean, you probably know all about this already. So, uh, why am I even doing this? Oh yeah, because some people, this is the first time seeing it, so let's hop in and take a look. All right, so there are two buttons. Uh, each has two commands nested underneath. The little arrow will let you switch between the two. Here I have fillet and chamfer nestled together, and here I have trim and extend nestled together. They are shortcuttable, so if you do go to your settings, settings is in layout on Mac, it's in Windows on Windows, and go to the shortcuts, I can actually type in trim here, and I will see that I have a shortcut already assigned. The shift T, shift E is already assigned here. And let's, uh, let's check chamfer. Yep, shift C. And what do you think fill it is? Let's, what do you, what do you bet? Shift F. Okay, so they are already all assigned. Uh, that's cool because it makes it very easy to switch between the two. If you're, if you're an old school CAD drawer, then shortcut keys to draw stuff is essential. And of course you can customize those. If you want uh, E for, or X for extend rather than shift E, you could always change that. All right, let's look at how we use these. We're gonna start with trim and extend. Uh, I'm gonna say this is the simplest tool to use. If I hover over an edge, it's gonna tell me where it can extend to. You can see that might be other drawing elements like this. If I click over here, it's gonna extend out to here. It might be the boundary of my drawing, but whatever it is, I can just click on it and it will extend. Click here, oh, look at that. If I can't extend it anymore, so if I mouse over this this edge of this line, this half of this line, it can't extend past this because there's nothing else to extend to. So this is not extend to infinity, this is extend to the next edge it meets. If I move over to the left side of this, even though it stops at this one, it can be extended to that next line. So I have the ability to do that just by clicking on it. So this is super simple. Um, let's say we have something like this. Let's go ahead and put two rectangles in here. And if I go to extend, I can't extend the edges of this because these are rectangles. They're not just loose shapes. If I pick on them, they're not just lines, they're actually rectangles. So you'll see loose edges versus polylines versus shapes will behave differently depending on which tool you're using. So let's check out trim. Trim's nice because just like we saw with, with the other one, I can click on an edge and trim, it goes away. It's just that simple and it's, I don't know, I just like when stuff is that easy. If I mouse over a line, it's gonna trim it. If I uh, mouse over a line and it can't trim, it's gonna tell me no. So in here, I said we couldn't extend the edges of this rectangle, but we can trim off pieces where it overlaps. So if I click here, now I got this piece cut off, this piece cut off, and this piece cut off. I made three separate pieces by doing that trim function. Super easy to do. A thing to note is that all this trimming and extending I'm doing is for lines and elements drawn inside of layout. If I look at my, my actual sketch of drawing here, I have lines in here, but these lines are part of the drawing. I have uh, this, let me click. This is a hybrid, so these are raster edges I have in here, but I can't affect them with this tool. The tool doesn't allow me to uh, edit inside of a model box. So I want to make changes to where this line is. I have to go back to SketchUp and make the change. It's not editable by these tools. All right, let's keep going. Let's go grab a uh, chamfer and fill it. We're gonna start with fill it. So when I first come in here, I have a radius of zero. So I'm just gonna make, I'm, I'm mousing over this. Don't click down here. That's not what you want to do. While you have this tool on screen, I can just type one quarter inch and hit enter. The radius is relative to the actual drawing itself, not necessarily the scale of this model. I could have several models on here, all different scale. This is page scale. So when I put a quarter inch, that is a quarter inch on the page. And it's that simple. I click one point, then the next point, and I get a fillet. If I wanna make it bigger, let's say I wanna make it three quarters of an inch. I'm gonna say three quarter inch. It's gonna change the last one I did. If I want that to apply to these ones over here, I just gotta go refill it. I don't even know if refill it's a word. I might've just made that up. Uh, that's too much. Let's split the difference and go to a half inch. 
And then again, it's going to change the last one I did. The rest of them, if I want to change them, I have to click on them like that. Very simple. And it's actually exactly how Chamfer works as well. Uh, so if I come in here, a one half inch, we know that's the good size. I'll click here, here, it's going to give me that half inch. It's really very, very, very quick and easy. Um, so let's say I want to change some stuff around here. Let's say I want to fill it these two edges together, right? Uh, simple enough to do. Of course, I just click on one, then I click on the other. But you'll notice as I'm starting here, one's red, one's black. So what's going to happen when I click this? See how it turned all black? So it took the properties of that first one here. I'm going to undo. Let's start with red and then click to here. It uses the properties of the first edge you pick and uses that throughout the new polyline that that fillet creates. Now, let's go a little bit, just a teeny bit further. I mean, we're, I mean, this is, guys, you know how much I love simple commands. I'm a simple guy. I like simple commands. And this is a perfect example of that. Click. If you can't click, you get a no symbol. That's it. That's all there is to this. So let's say I want to take these back out to sharp corners. I don't want the fillet. I don't want the chamfer. I just want these to be square. What I can do is with either chamfer or fillet, I could just type in zero. You see our zero change down the radius. And now when I click on these, oops, wrong one. It's just going to take it back to a zero fillet, which is a perfect corner. So easy to do. If I want to do cleanup like that, I can just start clicking on edges. It'll connect them together. Uh, it really is a simple way to clean up drawing elements. Again, the thing to remember though, is this is drawing elements. We're talking about things that are placed inside of layout. These are things like, uh, you know, boundaries, edges, uh, information bars, whatever, whatever you have here, that's elements that are drawn inside a layout. The new drawing tools make it super easy to edit with just a click. I love this because it takes me back to my old days of drafting. I used to have to go draw three-dimensional uh, elements in 2D. So I would have an, a reference angle to put in there and copy lines and trim them and extend them and everything just to make it look like the thing in 3D. I oh, mean, it's so much easier now just draw in 3D and then export it to <laughs> layout. Uh, but it does take me back. Those those line editing tools do take me back. They're, they're, they weren't this simple, I don't think, when I started using them. I had to I feel like I had to click a whole lot more than once, but uh, this is it. This is uh, very easy to use. Check it out in Layout 2026. And if you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment down below. You want to see more layout videos? Is there a specific workflow you think we should dive into? Or is there an extension you want to see more information about? Let us know that down in the comments. We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when it's showing something you want to see. Thank you.